Let me start by thanking uh, Secretary Blinken. Um, I am incredibly grateful to you uh, for your leadership, the tremendous job you're doing. If we had been in this room in its former, much gloomier kind of look uh, a couple years ago and talked about uh, an invasion of Ukraine that, uh, instead of driving a stake between us and our allies, brought us closer together in order to support uh, the right of the Ukrainian people uh, to defend their liberty and freedom and democracy, people might have doubted that because we had burned so many bridges uh, with our allies and our friends. So reinstating uh, a foreign policy that plays to the best of American values, that puts our interests and security front and center, but does it in a way that actually brings people to us, not pushes them away, uh, would have been thought to be uh, extremely difficult. And indeed, it was, but it was accomplished. Uh, so we built uh, global coalitions to curb nuclear proliferation, to tackle climate change, to promote democracy. Uh, we continued to build on our human rights uh, commitments, uh, women's rights, gay rights, the rights of all people to have a chance to live up to their own God-given potential. And we have seen the continuation of a lot of the values and priorities that we worked on uh, into uh, uh, the Biden administration uh, and in looking across the globe, defending democracy in Ukraine, expanding NATO, just as an aside, too bad, Vladimir. <laughs> you brought it on yourself. And that was such a point of contention. And we always said, people are not forced to join NATO. People choose and want to join NATO, and so indeed, expanding NATO. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.